Hey everybody, it's Charney Unicorn. I have one of the biggest DTS stories I've ever had and it was, I've gone to many DTS nights and before I get a bunch of comments that is called Down to Fuck. It is for women who like multiple men. It is a theme night at a sex club, okay? Uh, if you wanna find the rest, you go into your you know incognito mode on Google and you search for that. So basically I go to a lot of these uh, theme nights because they're always very interesting even if I'm not personally for taking in the festivities of sex um but yeah so this time i went with my friends i already knew were going and i brought my whiteboard and i brought my fanny pack my little orgy director fanny pack and uh and i got started so as soon as i walk in i see the virgin man the guy who i had met the night before at the halloween party and i had said you know if you don't have sex tonight and you're still looking you come find me tomorrow and i'll i'll see what i can do on a dtf night so he showed up and I was like, okay, I see you. Nice to see you. You know, like, let's have a good night kind of thing. So that was like the first part of the night. Then I ran into like my friends and everything, which was awesome. And Mr. and Miss Jyla Valentine were there and they hadn't been there in a very long time. And it just happened to be like JLo's birthday and JLo was looking for like a one-on-one -on -one really good sexual experience. And I happen to know from personal experience that Mr. Jyla Valentine is one of the best there is. So he's like a phenomenal uh, partner uh, in every single way I would, I would say. Like he likes to eat certain things and do certain things and at all the right paces and all the right temperatures, okay? Or not temperatures, but paces and all that. So I personally, like, I crouched down to them at the pool and I was like, so feel free to say no, but you know, my friend, it's her birthday. I personally recommended you and your talent if you'd like to, because Miss Jyla Valentine was gonna be taking a bunch of men. That was already decided. So while she's occupied and I'm also helping at that scene, her boyfriend was then being whored out, I say that affectionately, to my friend J-Lo. So they say, sure, like we'll chat with them and see what's up. I go outside to the smoking patio where my friends are. Now keep in mind that they had just gotten there, okay? Just gotten there, hadn't even gone in the pool yet. So I basically crouched down to J-Lo on the smoking patio and I was like, look, I've got this fantastic opportunity and I explained it to her. Uh, I gave the man my Trina Unicorn Yelp review, which is basically, uh, I, you know, I basically stand behind this man's sexual abilities, okay? Um, and so she was interested, sure. So we all kind of got together in the red room of the third floor at the wait at Oasis. No one was having sex yet. We just kind of all went in a circle um, and went through and I kind of, I was leading the discussion, but everybody was participating and, uh, and I was able to say, like so what are you looking for here tonight and people would go in a circle and say now it didn't take long for the party to start and suddenly we have the whole side the fireplace side of oasis third floor taken for our scenes and right here we have j-lo and mr jyla valentine hitting it off quite nice then we have uh, miss jyla valentine taking all sorts of men already and then there's r and um, and amber but then they both ended up taking men after halfway through. So it was just a, like a, a line of people who were all my friends having sex. And I was standing, not, not a, I was standing amongst them. So because I actually played with Miss Jyla Valentine, while she was in the middle of her giant gangbang, I actually was able to like, like, and like put my fingers in and like, you know, help out uh, her while she was taking all sorts of men. So it felt really cool for me because I also dom her. And so I was grabbing her hair. Like I was like pulling her hair and like pushing it harder on Dick and and telling her things in her ears and things I'm like are you making all the boys happy they're all looking at you like I was I'm mentally doming her and physically doming her um fantastic feeling because I do more than direct I like to dominate too but not in a, a rude or a ruthless way it's more of a I'm trying to help them have their best sexual experience let me get my hands dirty you know let, I don't, if I just sit around walking around like this with a clipboard there's only so much I can fucking do but if I can get my hands in there and I can get my you know hands around her throat which is what I did also, that's whole new levels of, of, of fantasy too. So this is how I was talking to the men. First of all, I would look at the crowd of men and I was like, we're looking for enthusiasm tonight. I'm like, we don't want limp dick energy. If I ask you if you want to fuck my friend, I want an enthusiastic yes or I'm going to pick the guy behind you. So I set the tone really quickly that my friends were looking for enthusiastic sexual experiences. Um, and uh, yeah, the guys were really respectful this time for the most part. I... I liked that they stood behind the line. I didn't have to intervene a lot. I also think it's a little hard to intervene in the scene when there's clearly a director because I would be like, you out. And in fact, one of our male friends who participates in these scenes a lot, 
he actually came up to us while we were doing the scene and tried to cross into our scene. And I stopped him. And I was like, no, absolutely not. No one is allowed to interrupt a scene without permission. And it's true. It doesn't matter if you're an old friend. It doesn't matter if I fucked you last week. You don't interrupt a sexual scene. It's too late to be invited. See, you know, maybe just like wait and see if they come up for air and ask you, but you're not supposed to interrupt a scene. It's so fucking rude. Every time someone's like, oh, no, no, can I put my dick in there? No, fuck off. We're in the middle of something. Like, that's how it feels. Anyways, I digress. So I will mention that at this very current moment, I am also on camera over here on my live stream of my fan page because I wanted them to see what it was like behind the scenes in the making of one of my story time videos. And they've already seen me get a hair in my mouth and I've had to cut. Uh, I also had like something in my nose. So I, you know, these things are, you know, part of the things that always get cut out, but I had to say hello to them over there. Um, and I will be doing an after dark, obviously on my, uh, on my only fans. So I'll be doing this right after actually. So if you wanted to come there, you're going to hear the dirty details of sex that I simply cannot say on YouTube. So you're going to have to come there. Every single person involved told me later that they had the most spectacular night. JLo had a most wonderful experience uh, sexually with Mr. Jyla Valentine, who I'm sure also had a great experience. Uh, Miss Jyla Valentine left with a very big smile on her face. She also was able to give the very first blowjob to my virgin friend. Um, turns out, yes, he did get a, a blowjob and had had sex in the same night for the first time, but with different girls. Crazy, right? Um, told you he had a story for the books. Then I saw R was taking a, a lot, a familiar D. She takes some good familiar D sometimes. And then so Amber was with a Fez guy for the most of the night and they were fucking very well. So it was a beautiful sight to like walk around and see all my friends having the most fulfilling sex ever. It went well then at towards the end, the virgin guy, I had invited him to come and sit and watch because it was like an intense scene. And I was like, yeah, just watch, don't worry about it. So it's getting towards the end. And then a goddess Amelia was like, all right, where's your friend? And I was like, because she overheard me say out loud, I don't think I have anyone to offer you tonight. Because I was just like, I'm sorry, I'm not like, I, I don't, if I don't have a girl who's interested, I don't have a girl who's interested. But she offered up because she was like, sure, like, whatever. So then I, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to coach you. Okay. And he says, sure. So I'm literally coaching the scene of his very first sex. And he looked and he actually put the condom on and he showed it to me and it wasn't down enough. It was only down this much. And I was like, nope, you got to put it down more. So he had real time coaching on the sidelines of his first fuck. I don't know. I don't know how he got so lucky. I don't know. But he did a, a good job. He was like, I remember the moment he put his D in. I was right there. And it was just like, oh, like, 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 it was like an awakening. You see someone's soul. So uh, obviously there's always bumps and, and things that are, you know, they're all new. Sex is new to some people and uh, it'll take a while for, for the skill sets and uh, the comfort to get there. But at least we got him on the right track. Uh, after that, we all hung out in one of the rooms. There was our friends were having sex on the side, but we, we can hang out amongst our friends while people are having sex. It like doesn't bother us. Sometimes we asked them to stop so that we could have like a, you know, cupcakes and stuff. And then they did. And then they, they continue sex after, but basically it was Jayla's birthday. So we had cupcakes. We, I also ordered a bunch of dirty burgers, like a, like a whole bunch for, for all of our friends. And, uh, we ate them hanging around in a sex club. So that was DTF night. It was fulfilling to say the least. I was told again by, uh, some people that when they watch me when I'm doing one of these scenes, there's something in my eyes that is just so bright and so lit up. And I have to say, I have never felt more in my element than when I'm directing a scene or helping people fulfill their sexual goals. So we'll see where this goes. I'm about to go to my OnlyFans to do my After Dark version of this story where all the juicy sexual details are gonna be. If you wanna come there, the link is in my bio. It's also on tryunicorn.com. Don't forget, I've got my swingershop.com merchandise. I've got a bunch of new offensive shit going up. Uh, I've even ordered some samples. I'm not gonna lie, I like to provoke and you're gonna see some provocative shit uh, on my body soon. So stay tuned and come to my OnlyFans.